Hello, this is Bridget from Happily Homeschooling in Iowa, and today I'm doing a collaboration with Victoria from Educating the Mad Lads in the UK, and it is our last garden um, update for the year. And so I'm going to talk about how I brought my plants inside and how I prepared my garden and yard for the winter. So the first thing I did was go outside on my front porch and assess my plants for bugs. And once I saw that we had quite a spider problem, I sprayed them with home defense. After I sprayed them, I did let them dry, uh, I think for one or two days. And we did have quite a spider problem. In fact, the whole time I was working on this video I had the heebie-jeebies my skin was crawling and my hair whisked across my cheek I was just kind of freaking out a little bit but uh, we did get the plants moved in Um, once I was done spraying the pesticide on them, I pulled them all out and put them on the porch. And that, what that allowed me to do is take an assessment of any other types of bugs that might have survived the spraying. And it also gave me the chance to be able to clean out the spider webs. Just pulling the plants all out, it also gave me time to kind of assess anything that needed to be clipped off, anything that was dying, maybe it was overgrowing. And my plants were in pretty good shape. This was a really good location on my front porch for these plants. Um, once I did have them all pulled out and could take a look at what I had, I was really overwhelmed. I wasn't really sure where I was going to put all these plants. I started having dreams of building a greenhouse, um, maybe setting up a grow light in my basement. Uh, the problem is, is I really like the look of all of these plants, so I wanted to bring them in and winterize them inside and enjoy them in my bay window. So it did take a little bit of time, but I did get the plants all pulled out and assessed and cleaned up. Once I had um, seen that the bug problem was no longer a problem, I then um, gave the flowers and plants a real good um, watering and I fertilized them. Once the soil was dry enough, I then brought them inside and started arranging them in my window.
So now I'm out in the yard and I am going to do some fall cleanup, some bulb planting. And my goal is to get my yard in order so that when winter comes and spring melts the snow that I won't have as much cleanup work come March, April as I did this year because I had really neglected that cleanup. Um, so I've got some trees to cut down. Uh, I got a maple growing under my fence and I've got this oak growing back here and I think I have an oak on the back and a couple maples as well. They've just um, seeded themselves at some point. This one I cut back every year. If you have any tips on how to get rid of it permanently, boy, I'd appreciate that.